What's up guys? Casey here with 3D Print RCRT and today's review I will be going over with you guys can't really see it right now but it's right under there it's the King Kong N32 flight control board brushed for micro brush uh, quadcopters so I picked this guy up from Banggood about two weeks ago and I've been playing around with it trying to figure out you know easy stuff it's not a it's not a hard board to configure but there are some downsides to it and I must say that well, you can't really see it right now but um the motor pads and the battery lead pad is under the board so what you gotta do is you gotta solder up your motors first or if you're skilled you can run them if you want to run them through the legs like I did right here see that it was a little bit hard I had to tangle with the board and lift it up just to get just to get to solder it under there but it wasn't too hard it worked out good and the, the other issue is your satellite receiver it does not um, this flight control board does not trigger the bind mode on your satellite receiver so you just need to bind it to your transmitter first and go ahead and hook it up and you're all good so that's that's the only two bad things that I've found they're not really bad because you know it's a it's a reasonably priced board it's really good it's stable in uh, angle mode flies great right now I have beta flight on it I'm using alien flight f1 the latest version and um, I'll show you guys how I set my PIDs up and how you configure this board and everything so follow me over let's uh, let's pop this board up on the computer okay guys so you're gonna want to go ahead and open up beta flight Head over to Firmware Flasher. You're going to select Alien Wii F1, the uh, latest stable version of it. Load Firmware Online. And at this point, when you're about to flash your board, if it's the first time you're flashing your board, you're going to have to hold down the bootloader button that is on the board and it will flash. But since I've already flashed my board, I do not have to do that the stock firmware is gone go ahead hold on that button hit flash it's gonna do its thing all right it's all done at this point I don't disconnect my board I just go straight to connect make sure your boards all nice and leveled calibrate accelerometer and it's so weird. I do this before and after I'm finished with my setup. I don't know. It's just a weird thing I like to do. All right, we go over to ports. Now, with this, it, it already has Serial RX on it on UR2, so you don't have to worry about that. But just I just like to check it to be sure because I don't want to be sitting there asking myself, oh, why is my transmitter not responding to my receiver? <laughs> Are right, you going to switch this down here to Spectrum 1024? I like to up my minimum command to 1020. They already put the motor PWM rates in there, so you don't have to worry about that. Motors won't spin up when you arm the board. Hit save and reboot. Okay, head over to the receiver tab. Make sure your transmitter is working as it should. If you need to reverse any channels, you go ahead and do that inside your transmitter. Everything looks great. Everything looks good. I like the fact they have a model here that uh, moves around. It, and actually, this is my first time using Betaflight. My very first time using Betaflight. Okay, at this point, I'm going to put my PIDs in. And this is my first time using Betaflight. I've said that like five times already. But I got to say, for... Having this here really helped me because instead of plugging out and plugging in my board all the time, this just showed me how it was being adjusted, you know? It, it's really nice having this virtual model showing you in which direction your board, your, uh, your quad is going to be drifting. It's really nice. 
Okay, so I'm just going to go put my PIDs in. You guys can pause and copy them or modify them, make them better, please. Help us all out here. All right, guys. Alright, I like to change the uh, strength for angle and horizon because to me it uh, it reduces the amount of work that uh, the self-leveling has to do so your board your uh, quad doesn't go all wonky everywhere and starts starts having a bunch of turbulence but uh, for the most part I just I just like doing that. I like lowering these numbers. I never have them over over 35 pretty much. All right, so hit save. You can go ahead and hit refresh. And as you can see, it's drifting very little. And that's, I could just use the trims on my transmitter to fix that. But these are the pids. You guys can go ahead and pause. Uh, copy them or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna head over to modes. This is the uh, pretty much the last step here. You add your arm angle and horizon. If you don't want to fly in horizon, you don't have to add it. <clears throat> and angle mode is self self stabilization mode, and horizon is acro mode. Go ahead and set these sliders up. So when you flip your switch on. They land in them, so my arm is clearly not working. Oh, I see my mistake. I uh, forgot to switch this to auxiliary too. <laughs> Okay, arms working, angle and horizon is working. All right, good. Everything looks good. And at this point, it's pretty much done. That's it. If I missed anything, just let me know, guys. Um, I like to calibrate my accelerometer one more time and disconnect. Now you are ready to go. Build your quad. Um, go out there, have fun. The 3D printed frame that I use for this build, it will be uploaded to Thingiverse and My Mini Factory later this week. And I'll leave a link in the description for those. So, yes, you just check the video back. Um, what else is there? That's pretty much it, guys. If this video was helpful to you, please leave a like. Also, subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more reviews of micro uh, flight controllers, motors, uh, whatever it may be. And uh, go ahead and follow my Instagram channel. It is 3D Print RCRT. Actually, it's 3D Print underscore RCRT. All right, guys. It's been a pleasure. I hope this video was helpful. And you guys have fun flying your quads. Have a good day. Bye.